In 2009, I got a letter that would forever change how I saw myself and the world. This letter told me that I had been selected to represent my school, state, and country as a student ambassador to Australia. Through the help of family and friends, I was able to raise several thousand dollars to make my journey to the land down under. For two weeks, I traveled with other Iowa high school students up and down the East Coast by bus and plane, learning about Australian culture. My personal challenge for the trip was to never say no. If I was offered a new food, I'd try it, and if they asked me to do something that scared me, I'd do it. I used this mentality many times throughout the trip, and subsequently ate bugs and kangaroo, threw a boomerang, played a didgeridoo, and punched through a piece of plywood. Only once was this mentality challenged, and that was when I was asked to repel from a 200-foot cliff. One morning, we got on a bus and traveled to the Blue Mountains. After being taught how to secure our harnesses and slow and speed up our descent, we broke up into small groups and finished our walk to the cliff. On the way up, we explored caves and took in the scenery. The guide told me that the most difficult part of repelling would be walking backwards over the edge. The guide was wrong. While it was a challenge to lean back into open air, I found myself struggling about 40 feet down. Before that point, we were walking backwards. At 40 feet, we realized we had been walking on a piece that had been sticking out and there was nothing more to walk on. At that point, we had to step off into nothing and I was frozen in fear. Determined to not give up but too scared to move, I stayed in my place for several minutes. Eventually, another student ambassador came along and we were able to continue together. Though I have yet to overcome my fear of heights, I learned a lot in those two weeks. As student ambassadors, we spent months before the trip studying our local and state governments, so if anyone had questions for us, we'd be able to answer them. However, the only questions I was asked were about football and fashion. It was interesting getting an outsider's perspective on our culture, as they'd only had experience through news and TV shows. Living with a host family and speaking to Australians that were my own age gave me the chance to see the world from their eyes, and what amazed me the most was that I found more similarities than differences. In fact, the teenagers I talked to were just as obsessed with Levi jeans as we are with Ugg boots. In the future, I hope to return to Australia to explore the city more on my own, as well as travel to other countries.